All right, we're playing a new game. We've got Mohawk and Headphone Jack for the Super Nintendo. Now, I've never played this game before. I know nothing about it at all, except that there's something about spinning and, oh my God, I'm already sick. The, what, that is uncomfortable, what just happened. Apparently, too many things happen if you push one button. There we go. I don't know who programmed this game. Except that it's something about black studios, and there's a black hole right there. It sucked in, sucks you into another universe. I do like that you slide around like, I don't know what else. And I've got 333. That's not bad. No, not everybody can say they've got 333. Luckily, I still have 333, but I've only got three. Also, I've got two and five. I didn't like that. Apparently that's something that takes up lots of thing. You are a hedgehog. A ball with some things. There's an item to collect. Whoa. What are these? Apparently the L and R buttons rotate the screen for some reason. Oh boy, I'm getting CDs. This is a game that came out when CDs were a thing that people said, hey, you should collect those things. Collect the CDs. That's a real interesting thing. Like somebody said, you know what's a futuristic technology that we just invented right now? What? CDs. You think that'll ever go down? Nah, people are always going to be using CDs. Well, we think one day there'll be a thing where we can just jack in and take a pay? That's impossible. Every physical media will last forever. It'll never be. I just turned into somebody else. I'm not me. Um, okay. This. Oh, look at this. I can go behind the gray garbage that covers the entire screen. That's pretty good. Oh, I'm rotating. Look, it's Super Mario Galaxy. Oh. That is an unpleasant looking thing. But luckily my spikes destroy it. There are too many layers going on here. I'm not even sure which one is. Good God. Somebody give <laughs> get me a grab all for all the mode 7 in this. I could do with it. This is the most confusing first level I think that exists. I can't believe I've, I've gotten... I don't even know what's happening. Welcome to the Super Spears Brothers. I'm Blake. Uh, we're playing through a little bit of a, a... I've never heard of this or seen this before. This is seriously whacking me out. It's But I got 5.33.0 now. Is that the score? I don't know. Who cares? Um... It's a SNES game. I'll look it up before we play more so I have some idea what's going on because I don't know anything about this. Uh, here we go. I can use the L's and the R's to twist around. If anyone's watching this and you don't have motion sickness, um, you're a stronger man than I and a better man than I. Are you a woman? Yes, you are definitely a woman. If you're watching this and you're sick, then you are a better man than my I. You are also a woman. Sometimes, whoa, okay, there you go, orientation change. Does anybody know what's going on? Does, does anybody, can anybody follow what's, what's happening on the screen? Holy shit. <laughs> this is the most confusing thing that there has been. Uh, I, uh, I studied international politics, I studied uh, human sexuality, studied a lot of things back in my college and days when I had collagen in my face and my mouth, my mouth couldn't move and I looked like a, a melting mannequin and I, I can honestly say this is the most confusing thing that okay the arrows the arrows do something did they program this game was it made by accident uh, but seriously like who who programmed this thing A water cup was left upside down, and when they twisted the cup off, the water was left just standing there. And that's that one of that the thing you can cut to it. Don't cut to it. Blown away by this early physics experiment, and by watching too many episodes of Bill Nye the Science Guy during a thunderstorm. Whatever the game now that I've currently forgotten the name of was born, and thus. The future was made. I'm honestly quite... I'm shocked. 
and disturbed and confused by what I'm seeing, but I'm enjoying it, and I'll tell you why. It's very easy so far. Oh, you have to... Okay, at 100 I flash. So maybe I have to collect a certain number of CDs. Imagine if you had to collect 100 CDs these days. You'd have to go to some old woman's cell, that is some yard sale where her family's selling off her items before she dies, and which would be happening concurrently. She would be dying while you're at the garage sale, and you'd say, I'm looking for 100 CDs, and they'd say, luckily, we have 100 of them. They have no purpose anymore. We've copied all the contents onto our flash drives and our various connected devices, and we watch everything, we listen to all our music through Spotify, we watch all our videos through illegal downloads. Anyway, we don't have any use for CDs. C CDs, basically, uh, I, work at, I work in government, I don't usually talk like this, but I work in government, and we basically just figured out how to do some stuff on CD, and CDs are now a complete, basically a dead form. I'm talking to you, game makers who still produce something that's almost exactly like a DVD. I don't care. Digital downloads are the future. And if you disagree with me, you're probably right. But what, what, what is this? Is that a pair of pliers with legs? I do like the animations. Uh, although I really am getting actually quite sick just playing this, this thing. I, this is one of the most nauseating things I've seen, and I've lived through the Harper government. If I ever find my way out of here, I'm gonna blame the people that killed my Uncle Joe. Are you dizzy? Hope you're feeling dizzy. Alright, let's exit this level and go on to the next level. What a great and confusing flip you have. Yay! Something happened. Music changed. This guy's a cool mouse mascot figure. He will obviously sell many figurines. People will put them, put his bobblehead on their car, attach him to his. Uh, there'll there'll be bumper stickers, things that were popular in the '90s. I don't know. Music videos. Name something that was popular in the '90s. War in Iraq. That never goes out of fashion. Well, it's, I can't think of anything that was popular in the 90s. But then I wasn't popular in the 90s. I didn't know much about what was popular, and nor did I care. I was a free... I was a free soul. Can I... Can I twist around? What? Can anyone tell if I'm stuck in, this, in the rut I appear to be in? And what happens to this guy when he flips? whoop -a whoop whoop -a whoop Did they finish animating him? Or they just go, ah... I don't know what... Like, who makes the decisions around the design for this guy, for this game? Who, who was planning this? Is, is this just something where they've randomly put down blocks in no particular order? This is the most structureless level I think I've played uh, possibly in my life. I can't think of a level that had less structure than this. Uh, the animation uh, doesn't appear to mean anything. It's like they spend a whole bunch of time going, what if we could turn everything sideways? And make cool music. But, oh, there we go. Let's see if the next level makes any more sense. When we return, with a little bit more of whatever this is. Those animations.